we've decided to renovate our ensuite bathroom because it's pretty dated. We want to change the layout. It's not very practical. It's hard to clean. We just want something a bit new and styly. Definitely won't miss having the spa bath. So we're hoping to be all done in about two weeks. We've planned our layout, chosen all our bathroom products like the tapware and stuff, got all the quotes from the tradies, then booked the ones in that we wanted to go with. And now it's time to crack into it pretty much and get on with it. The bathroom's starting to take shape. The tiles are all down, the toilet's about to get put in. At the moment, the wall hung vanity unit is going up, and then we've got the final piece, really, which will be the big glass panel for the shower, which I can't wait for. Really happy with where the bathroom's heading. I mean, I always knew it was going to be nice, but it's probably got more wow factor than I thought it would have. So, really, really happy with our choices and what we've done. We're really lucky with my husband doing the bill because it obviously saved us a lot of money that we would have had to have paid someone. It also gave us the flexibility around timing. So our initial schedule I think was two or three weeks, um, ended up pushing out to two or three months because my husband unfortunately got a neck injury and we ended up having to move it out a bit. I love my new bathroom, I love the tiles, the simplicity of it, just the big, clean, open space. I love <laughs> the toilet because there's no S-bend that just gathers dust constantly. It's just got nice flush sides. It was really nice to have that option of the black tapware and it feels quite modern as well because of the matte rather than the shiny chrome. One thing I really love is the glass floor-to-ceiling panel, so it does just feel so open and clean and simplistic. The biggest challenge for me was probably the layout. Once you take away the old stuff, what is, what's the new layout going to look like? Probably one regret is not putting a cubby hole in the shower for shampoo and conditioner. We did it initially, plan on doing that, and didn't do it. So I guess advice to other people would be if there's something you want to do, stick to your guns and do it. Even with all the delays, I'd definitely do it again because it's fun. You're doing something new for your house and you're creating a new space and you end up being so happy with it. So yeah, I'd absolutely do it all again.